Hi everyone, it's Miss Brenner. I hope you're all doing well and staying happy and healthy. This recording is for April 5th, 2021. I'm going to go over your agenda for today. So please remember that at midnight tonight, you guys have your uh, slides assignment due for To Kill a Mockingbird. So that's 11.59 p.m. on April 5th, 2021. In class today, what I'd like you guys to work on is to silently read for 15 minutes, and then you're going to log your silent reading in the silent reading log at the top of the Schoology page. You are going to complete the To Kill a Mockingbird chapters one through nine figurative language, which that assignment looks like this. I ask you guys to define in your own words a couple of different figurative language terms. We then have a chart where I give you guys different examples from To Kill a Mockingbird and I give you the chapters in case you want to see uh, where it's referenced in your book. I'm asking you guys to tell me what form of figurative language the example would fall under and then how do you know it is this form of figurative language and to explain the context from the story. So as we look at my first example, your name's longer than you are, but it's a foot longer. It's a metaphor. Jem says, this to Dill in a way that doesn't use like or as comparing the boy's long full name to his short stature. So you're going to do that for all the different examples and then you are going to find your own examples from the book. So I give some suggestions. There are a lot more than the ones that I listed but these are just a couple suggestions to get you started. Um, so if you go we are looking for examples from chapters 6 through 9 uh, I give examples for chapter 6, 7, 8, 9. Like I said, there are more than that. I give you the exact same example from before. How does this example enhance the story? So we're talking about Dill's name being longer than his stature. This reflects the tone of a young child making juvenile remarks that are both silly and rude. Jem thinks that Dill is tiny for his age and therefore compares the length of Dill's full name to the fact that for a boy... He is downright puny, as Jem would have put it. So we are looking for how that impacts or enhances the story. And the fact that shortly thereafter they have that communication, uh, Dill and Jem actually become really good friends, and Jem learns to respect Dill. So I'm asking for six different examples that you can find between chapters 6 and 9. What I'd also like you guys to do, these are quizzes, so it's an application that allows you to practice in preparation for your test, which will be on Thursday, which is the 8th of April. So this is a quizzes for chapters 1 through 5, and then a quizzes for chapters 6 through 10. Alrighty, guys. Oh, also, submission. If you are going to submit your slides, that is under week 10 in this green folder, slide project submission just in case you were looking for that. Also, remember that any missing assignments uh, that you have for marking period three are marked in Schoology with a little orange dot. If you want to submit any missing assignments, it must be submitted by midnight on the 5th of April, so uh, when this video is taking place. Alrighty, guys, that is everything. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!